So in the previous lecture I discussed about a primitive flow table and how to draw this primitive flow table. In this section I will discuss about this reduction of input restricted flow table. Reduction of input restricted flow table. Okay. So in order to do this, first you have to be careful, you have to follow these three three steps. To to for the reduction of input restricted flow table, first it is determine the maximal capability sorry ma maximum capable sorry maximum compatible classes maximum compatible classes second is determine minimum collection of maximum compatible set finally reduce the flow table is constructed so these are the three steps you have to follow so first is determine the minimum com minimum compatible classes what is the minimum compatible classes sorry maximum compatible classes first is maximum compatible classes second is minimum collection of maximum compatible classes third is reduce the flow table so first you have to find out the maximum compatible classes for that you have to analyze this with the uh, implication chart so for that first you need to take the uh, flow table okay this primitive flow table if you take this primitive flow table with this primitive flow table I will arrange in a implication chart so now it will be easy to you for analyzing this the first thing you have to do is what you have to do here I have a state from A to F F A to F okay seven states I have so in the row in this bottom you have to write a b c d e up to e you leave this last one from a to d a to e you have to write here and in column side you leave a and the remaining you have to write in the column side so it is looked like this this is our uh, implication chart as we discussed in the first chapter this is same as it is so what you have to do you have to check each and every column first a column B row so A B this call this box you are checking A B that means in this chart in this primitive flow table you have to check both the A state to A state row and B state row this is the row for state A this is the row for state B and check the states inside the rows this is A A also check the output the states are same this is zero this is dash dash is normally we consider it as a don't care so zero can don't care means it can be zero or it can be one so there is no uh, mismatch or always we check the mismatch if there is no mismatch we can put a tick mark in that corresponding column if there is no mismatch then no problem we put a tick mark for the mismatch checking you have to check both the states as well as the output if there is a dash that means it is replaced by a don't care don't care can be either zero or one if it is zero it is matched no so no problem who or no is whether it is one or zero or one we don't know so it is matched we assume that these are matched by because this can be zero there is a chance so this zero zero is matched so no problem so like that you have to consider whenever don't care comes that is matched like that you have to consider and in a b states first a a zero don't care no problem matched state C C sorry B B state to match it is zero don't care no problem this is C this is don't care so this can be C state also so no problem it is matched this is D this is don't care it is matched so A B is matched so this A B matched that's why you take mark here now consider A C A C consider A column uh, sorry A row and C row the first is A A zero don't care it is matched next is b don't care matched c c zero don't care matched e don't care matched so that's why a tick sign okay for in this implication chart first you consider the uh, green color indication only no don't consider consider this cross mark at this stage you consider only the writings and uh, you consider only the letters and uh, tick mark don't consider this into or cross mark at this stage okay that means that is indicated by a pink line pink line cross mark don't consider at this stage 
now consider a d a d a d means a a no miss a don't care no miss much b b okay here f c c f is the different state scheme so that is there we can't put in a tick mark you have to write the states c and f so i wrote c and f here don't consider this cross mark in the first pass in first pass i am writing just letters only just letters and a tick mark so this c f i wrote it now you consider the a e stage this is a this is e here there is also a mismatch f c f so the i written as c f consider a f a and e f still there is system mismatch it is c and e f so c comma f mismatch now consider b c consider b and c zero this is matched 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 here it is mismatched d and e so i wrote it as d e at this b c is column now b b d now it is b d check b and d b and d a don't care b b f don't care d d this match this way tick mark here now b e it is d e b and e it is uh, here it is d e so d e now b f consider b and e f here it is d e mismatch so d e mismatch now consider c c d this column c and d c d mismatch is here d e d e and also there is another mismatch c f so that is written c d e comma c f so both the mismatch you have to write consider c e c and e mismatch is in f c c f so it is c f consider c f column c and e f column here c a a matched don't care matched f c mismatch is there and also check the output here zero output here one output so if such a condition exists that if outputs are different in that case completely you have to cross the box without considering the state completely you have to cross the box so why why because here the outputs are different if it is a dash then it will be matched but still here unfortunately here it is zero and here it is one so both are not matched so in such a condition arises at that time the corresponding column you have to mark a completely cross sign no need to write anything so now consider d e d e also there is a mismatch in the output zero one so you put a complete cross sign consider d f and d f mismatch is d e it is written consider d e f e f it is completely matched see completely matched so you put a tick mark here now this is the first pass in second pass you have to check the uh, remaining columns which is not don't have any tick or into cross mark okay you have to check the column which is remaining apart from this tick mark and the cross mark some columns are remaining with the letters no that that, that columns you have to consider again uh, consider ad here it is cf it is written check the cf column cf it is crossed so wherever cf is written that columns are we can mark a cross mark put a cross mark because cf column it is not matched so that's why wherever we wrote cf all those columns are mismatched so put a cross mark cross mark here cross mark here cross mark consider next is remain de consider de de is also crossed so remain de columns are also crossed so this is the second pass so this is a complete analysis so we completed the minimal sorry minimum, completed the implication chart from the implication chart you are able to find out the uh, maximum compatible classes how to write the maximum compatible classes from left to right you wrote in a column so e d c b a e d c b a so the list of compatible classes so for e f is the first tick you consider only the tick columns okay tick marks e f there is a tick so you represent it as a e f set for d this set is transferred here for c it is e f for b consider b here don't don't we don't have any tick mark that's why the previous day here b b here we have a d tick mark so b d is a set so apart from e f b d is also comes in d in a we have two tick marks so first e f and b d comes then 
this remaining AC and AB. So AC and AB we wrote. So the final set of A we can represent as EF, BD, AC, AB. This is the maximum compatible set. So this is about the maximum compatible set.